All right, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing an album that was uh, put together by Oliver Leib. Um, he's a German techno trance um, extraordinaire. <laughs> he's been in the in the scene techno trance scene since 1988, and uh, we're going to be reviewing the Black album that he put out in, I believe it was 98. Yeah, 98. Um, so this was a request by one of my listeners. Uh, they wanted me to review Oliver Leib's The Black Album. And uh, of course, I, 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 I know of Oliver Leib. Uh, anyone that listens to techno and trance music knows knows that he's the top echelon of producers uh, when it comes to putting out very good high quality techno music um trance music he, he was born in frankfurt germany which is in many ways the birthplace of trance music um of course sven waff uh uh comes from frankfurt as well uh, Torsten Fenslau, which is not with us anymore, he he was the uh, the producer that is behind Culture Beat, um, uh, which was really popular in '93. They came, he came out with the uh, album Serenity. Uh, so <clears throat> yeah, so Oliver Leib is um, he 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 grew up. He, he was born in 69 and uh, 1969 in Frankfurt and before he he got into techno music trance music he was actually a bass player and he was part of a lot of funk funk rock groups and uh, before they became famous he kind of left the group and uh, he eventually decided to um, go go alone and do his own solo work and so um so he 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 has many different alter egos uh as as lsg um there's uh other ones countless other ones um and uh he's he's remixed uh songs for moby for snap for human the human league um among others uh he's he's been um a sought out producer by many DJs including Tiesto um uh Seb Fontaine um and many others uh, so we're going to review his Black Album, um, which is actually um, a culmination of a couple of uh, extended plays, EPs that he released. And then eventually, once, once they were all out, he uh, combined them and mixed it into it like a DJ mix. And... Uh, and what 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 came out of it is absolutely amazing um it's if you haven't if if you like trance music if you like techno music you should do yourself a favor and listen to the black album lsg um and uh which is the alter ego for oliver leib um oliver leib has um been sought out very very much uh through throughout the entire world um when when djs used dat machines he he actually used he, he at at the point when he was remixing and going out and doing dj mixes he he did actually um live performances and uh he his uh, studio at at back in Germany is 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 top notch. It 
Yeah, uh, you know, he he he's just he uh in many ways is a perfectionist uh when it comes to creating his own music he doesn't have to um he doesn't have to uh like uh compromise on the sound that he makes when he was in groups he had to compromise always and now that he works by himself uh, under his own name, he doesn't have to compromise his sound or his um, his dire di direction of what kind of music he creates. To Oliver Leib, it, it's it's very um, he, it's very important that he he wants to st stay relevant in all different genres of dance music, ambient, trance, house. Um, or Eurodance. Um, he's he's uh, released many uh, many songs, many albums that are in the ambient uh, genre, in house music, uh, deep house, hard house, uh, trance music. Then, um, of course, uh, also Eurodance. Um, so whatever it, it, to him it's important that he wants to keep producing music for all those genres because he truly feels uh like it's important to him to to be able to uh not compromise his sound and uh and because of that we are all blessed because of his the the music that he creates it's really good um anyways let's let's get into the black album which he which he uh, released in 98 and 1998 and essentially he put he like i said he put the eps together extended plays together and mixed it mixed them for a for a beautiful, beautiful album that's over one hour long. Um, so let's get into it. All right, so the Black Album, uh, LSG, which is, uh, of course, Oliver Leib, Alter, Al Alter Ego. Uh, it's got nine songs on it. Uh, my favorite songs on it are Black's, Black's One and Rotation and then Deep Blue, which is the last song. And uh, Oliver Leib does a really good job in mixing it all together to make it sound like one big song. <laughs> well, you know, it's a DJ mix of his EP releases, and, uh, and he put them together to make this album uh the uh the black album and uh if there is if there is one producer out there techno producer trans producer that uh knows what they're doing it's oliver Leib. his 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 songs are so hypnotic like for instance if you know the the song gypsy i will trance you I will trans you, and then the beats, or, uh, or lustral, lustral every time. Those, those, those tracks, the, 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 those are tracks that are from other producers, not all of her life. But I'm telling you that Oliver Live has has. He he probably knows some counterpoint when it comes, you know, like classical counterpoint, because without counterpoint, these hypnotic grooves could not be created. I mean, I know counterpoint is talked about a lot in classical music, but but it also exists in dance music, um, believe it or not, and. Uh, I think Oliver Leib is one of those people that knows counterpoint very well. He might just be 
one of those uh, like uh, latter day, uh, you know, like in in our time, uh, like Johann Bach uh, reincarnated. <laughs> <laughs> because he, he he does such a good job with these hypnotic grooves. I mean, listen to rotation. Listen to Black's one. Those those have some serious counterpoint in him, and uh, it's it's it sounds so awesome. Uh, I mean, it gets you it gets you dancing and gets you going. Um, Deep Blue is a track uh, on the album, the last track, which could be possibly, you know, all all in its own, you know, it, no, if you didn't hear any other track on the album other than Deep Blue, it, it, y you, you would just enjoy it. Um, and make, it would make you buy the album. But there is so many songs on this album, nine altogether, but um, they, they go very well. They're together. Um, they're not, they're not, they're not more, they're not as much as Eurodance, but, uh, you know, Happy Go Lucky Euro Eurodance or Happy, Happy Hardcore. Now, this is, it's a more dark, uh, kind of deep, focused uh, music that he created. And I would say it, like, it, 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 it if, obviously it's trance music, right? But if there's another genre that it really, really resonates with it as well, is hard house and deep house deep house hard house trance that's that's what it is essentially and you know with house music there's a lot of layering going on you know like a beat comes in and it just stays right and then uh, another beat on top of that beat stay comes in and and complements the the lower beat and on on they go to you know and then all of a sudden there's a third beat on top of the second beat that complements the second beat i mean it's just that's deep house i mean it i mean if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about and uh oliver Leib does a really good job at this hypnotic creating hypnotic grooves that can can pass as deep house uh deep house hard house and trance one of the um one of the tracks on the album that is very uh very trance like is deep blue um it, it does start with like a kind of an ambient song um which transitions into kind of a hypnotic house groove and very 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 good it's a train of thought and uh at the very beginning it's 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 essentially an ambient track but it gradually gradually uh slips into like a deep house groove and uh Go fishing. The second track on the album is is kind of it it, it pulls back and it kind of goes back to like a very simple simple beat, which is go fishing, and but then later on in go fishing it kind of layers upon layer upon layer of deep house music. Um, which goes into the third track um and like i said uh the my favorite tracks on the album are black swan and rotation and deep blue and that's not to say that the other tracks are not good that uh, the album the song the tr the actual you know the actual like uh 
the composition, the, the whole the whole thing uh, ties in. All the nine songs tie in really well into each other. And uh, it leaves you thinking, wow, this guy knows what he's doing. And uh, it's a song, it's an album that you want to, uh, you, you could, you could hear at the club and it would, it would do just fine. You, you know, it, people would just dance to it. And, and it's a, also an album that you can listen at, listen to at home and appreciate when you're not, you know, night clubbing or going, uh, nightclub hopping <laughs> anyway um yeah so definitely check this album out as far as rating go um ratings one to ten obviously this album is very good i highly recommend it i would i would i'm i'm more than happy of giving it uh, like a nine out of ten rating um not a 10 out of 10, but, but, but 9 out of 10 is, is pretty good if you, if you think about it. Um, Oliver Leib is truly at the top of his game, um, at the prime of his output. And, well, there, he, he's still pretty young. Uh, he's still alive, and he, he, he's bound to put out more albums, more tracks. So just check him out on Bandcamp. You can check him out on Amazon.com, or you can also find him on uh, Discogs. And uh, so, yeah, definitely at least listen to the entire album from start to finish once and you will truly appreciate it so anyways i'm gonna sign out and hope you like this review let me know if there's any albums you'd like me to review in the electronica uh, genre edm genre and uh i'll see you next time on the next review see ya uh subscribe and also like if you like and uh, make any comments you'd like. Um, I, I do listen to and read to the comments section. So let me know what you think about this review and if there's any albums out there that you'd like me to review from other artists or Oliver Live or, you know, just let me know. See you next time. Bye bye.